The attached bar is a plucky little thing that makes a comeback in 2022 thanks to Apple and their new MacBook Pro 13. Apple's current lineup is pretty weird, with the Pro 13 using the older design, while the Air 13 has the new notched look. Regardless, both the Air and the Pro use the new M2 SoC, which features more powerful Avalanche and Blizzard cores. We are generally happy with the lack of a notch and, as a bonus, there is a touch bar. Overall, the whole laptop is a carbon copy of the late 2020 MacBook Pro 13, with sharp edges and rounded corners complementing the metal chassis. The design is a bit outdated, with the Windows-based competition catching up with, if not surpassing Apple, making thinner and lighter notebooks that still offer amazing build quality. The Magic Keyboard feels much more like a traditional keyboard, even if the key travel is short due to the 15.6mm profile. The feedback is clicky, but more importantly, the typing experience is consistent across the entire board. The trackpad is covered with glass and is super accurate. Dongles will be a part of your life with the MacBook Pro 13, as you only get two Thunderbolt 4 ports and an audio jack. We are skipping the teardown segments since there are nothing to be seen on the inside. Soldered memory? Check. Soldered SSD? Check. Soldered everything? Check. Moving on to the display, we have a single offering with a 13.3 inch QHD plus IPS panel. As with all MacBooks, the display is one of its key selling points, with the panel here delivering exceptional viewing angles and a peak brightness of around 500 nits. It also covers 100% sRGB and 99% DCI-P3 gamuts, so colors are vivid and rich. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome! The laptop uses a 58.2 Wh battery pack which is pretty big for a device of this size. As for the battery life, this might be the best that we have seen, as the laptop lasts for 28 hours and 20 minutes of web browsing or 19 hours and 40 minutes of video playback. The new M2 SoC delivers 12% better single-core performance than its M1 predecessors, including the Pro model. In multi-core, however, the M2 is only better than the regular M1 chip, with a performance increase of 19%. According to Apple, the main focus on the M2 is the GPU performance. Compared to the M1, the new GPU brings a 35% improvement in benchmarks. The laptop generates a decent amount of heat, with a later stage of our stress test pushing the SoC to 91 degrees Celsius, which is a significant and unwelcomed increase from its M1 powered counterpart. In terms of comfort, the hotspot on the keyboard reaches 41 degrees Celsius, while the fan on the inside is surprisingly quiet, despite spinning at 7000 rpm. The M2 SoC is a clear upgrade over the M1, however, the rest of the laptop stays exactly the same as the 2020 version. So, if you want anything more than a performance increase, you should wait a bit for the release of the new MacBook Air. If you want to see more tests and details about the device, you can read our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.